Hello and welcome! In this video I will show you how to make Marillenknödel, which are sweet dumplings filled with apricots and they are so delicious. The recipe origins from Bohemia, which used to be part of Austria and is regarded as the famous home of sweet dumplings. Traditionally, these sweet dumplings were usually filled with apricots, but also with plums, strawberries or cherries. Nowadays, you can find these little happiness balls, that's how they are called also, filled with chocolate or hazelnut spread, which is also a very delicious variation. Marillenknödel are one of the typical desserts that you can find at the famous Oktoberfest in Munich. Which brings me to an exciting announcement. All Taste German hosts the first Webtoberfest in cooperation with Karen from German Girl in America. The Webtoberfest will be the largest virtual Oktoberfest in 2020 and it will take place during the whole month of September and October. At Webtoberfest there will be lots of fun, for example a virtual beer tent stage with games, great music and dance performances. There will be cooking shows and cook-alongs, German gift shops, Dirndl and Lederhosen fashion shows and so much more. You all are cordially invited. Visit webtoberfest.com for more information. But now to the recipe. There are many recipes for these dumplings, but I show you one of the easier ones. Here is what you need. Quark, which is originally used in this recipe, but I know that it's for many of you hard to get quark, so I made this video recipe with Greek yogurt, which makes a good substitute, but we need to work a little bit on it later, I will show you. And you also need soft butter, a whole egg, flour, semolina, which is called Gries in German, salt, lemon zest or lemon extract, what I use today, some nice ripe apricots and sugar cubes. Additionally, you will need butter, sugar, a pinch of cinnamon if you like it and breadcrumbs for the topping of the Marillenknödel. And as always, you will find the printable recipe in the link in the description below this video. Quark in Germany does not contain a whole lot of whey. Whey is the yellowish liquid that you can see here. That is why we need to drain the Greek yogurt or if you have wet quark, so drain it best overnight. But if you are in a hurry, you can just try to squeeze out the liquid and I will show you this in a moment. To drain the liquid, you can use either cheesecloth, a yogurt strainer, a nut milk bag or the simplest, just a clean linen kitchen towel. I did not drain my yogurt overnight and now just add it to a drainer bag and then squeeze out as much liquid as possible. In case you wonder, I measured the yogurt in the recipe with the li liquid. It might be not exactly accurate, but you will see later on that you need to adjust the amount of flour anyways by texture of the dough. This recipe needs a little bit of experience, but you will learn how to adjust it extremely easy in this video. If you don't like waste good food, like I, you can use the leftover liquid for shakes, baking or as a treat for your doggies. My dogs, they are totally crazy about it and it's good for them. To prepare the dough, add the butter and the egg to the mixing bowl and blend well. If you use soft butter, this will be easy. Mine was a little bit hard, but that's okay. It will blend in later as the, as the butter softens. And then add the drained yogurt or quark and mix again. 
add the lemon zest or lemon extract, the salt, flour, semolina, and mix for a couple of minutes until everything is well combined. Optionally, you can add either a teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanilla powder. As you can see, the dough is pretty soft, so I added another quarter cup of semolina and mixed it with a spatula. Before you decide if you need more semolina or flour, let the dough rest covered in a cool space for about 20 to 30 minutes. In the meantime, remove the pits from the apricots. I usually do this by cutting along the natural line half through, then open the apricot and remove the pit. Replace the pit with a sugar cube or two, depending on your taste. But if you don't like it very sweet and you already have ripe fruit, you don't even need sugar at all. Housewives in Bavaria and Austria usually remove the pit with a rounded end of the cooking spoon. I found out I don't even own a cooking spoon with a rounded end, so I can't really demonstrate that very well. But you get the idea. But to be honest, I personally prefer to cut out the pit like explained before anyways, because it's less of a mess. After the dough rested 30 minutes, I added water to a large pot and bring it now to a light simmer. In the meantime, I can prepare the dumplings. I sprinkled the counter space generously with flour and placed the dough onto it. If the dough is too sticky, add more flour, which I need to do here. Even I squeezed out a whole lot of liquid the yogurt still released more liquid and made the dough very soft. If you run into that problem, just add more flour, um, as much as necessary to make the dough workable. I ended up adding almost one cup of flour, but be careful to don't add too much flour as the dumplings will lose their light texture. If you are not sure if the dough has the right consistency, there is an easy trick to test this. Just form a little dumpling and add it to the simmering water. If it falls apart, you will need more flour. When the dough has the right consistency, divide it into eight equal sized pieces. Flatten each piece of dough and then place the apricot in the middle and close the dough seams by pinching the ends together. Then roll the dough covered apricot lightly between your palms. If the dough is too sticky, just flour your hands lightly and it should work very well. After you prepared all dumplings, place them with the help of a slotted spoon into the lightly simmering water and allow them to cook for about 10 to 12 minutes. While you are waiting for the dumplings to cook, you can prepare the delicious breadcrumb topping that is responsible for the signature look of these sweet dumplings. Start with melting the butter in a medium-sized pan, then add sugar and cinnamon and blend it together until it's well combined. Add the breadcrumbs and roast the mixture on low temperature until golden brown. To check if the dumplings are done, use a pin and poke the apricot. If the apricot is soft, the dumplings are ready.
Remove the dumplings with a slotted spoon from the water and allow them to drain or you will add up with too much water in the breadcrumbs. Then place them into the pan and roll them into the breadcrumbs. Sprinkle them with powdered sugar and serve immediately. I know, there is a little bit of work involved to make these delicious apricot dumplings, but the fluffy dough, the soft juicy apricots and the sweet buttery breadcrumbs are such an amazing flavor explosion that this is so worth it. Try it out! Guten Appetit!